standby video, standby audio, standby lighting. We are recording in five, four, three. Hello everybody, Colin O'Reilly here at the Charleston Gilliard Center and today we are setting the stage with our favorite head video technician, Hunter. Hey everybody. All right, Hunter, you know that we've been designing all the aspects for a... Ride on Rock Show! I set the rock stage. John has it sounding good. Dave has it looking good. Now you're gonna help us get the rock show out there to all of Riley's fans, right? We sure are. Today, we're gonna show you how a camera works, how we broadcast video to the outside world, and also how we use projectors and screens for visual effects and shows. Last time you showed us how we send video signals using HDMI cables. Not pronounced HUDME. And how projectors create image. Let's go out front so you can demonstrate how we are gonna use these video tools to broadcast Rydog. Sounds good. All right, we have your camera control positioned out front and we have cameras around the theater for the show, but how does a camera capture an image? The camera has many similar components to a projector. It has a lens and has a sensor to capture an image. As we learned before, light bouncing off of objects is how we see our surroundings. So the lens of the camera works like your eyeballs and captures the light from your surroundings? Right. And the sensor takes the image and turns it into a signal, sends it down the HDMI cable. Yep. The video signal goes down the HDMI cable and into a video switcher. Ah, uh, don't even think about it, Riley. Usually people, not cattle dogs, use video switchers to select camera shots. With the switcher, we can mix those multiple camera shots into one broadcast video. Okay, so we have the cameras set up for the rock show and they are sending video signals to our switcher. But what about those projectors that we had on stage? Well, we will use the same switcher to send camera signals and video effects to the projectors on stage, like this. Sweet. So how do we create a broadcast of the rock show that looks as good as the series we're watching now for our audience on the internet? So you can control each camera with four basic operations. Pan, which is moving left and right, Tilt, which moves up and down. Focus, which makes the image sharp or fuzzy. And finally, Zoom, which brings the subject closer or further away. Sometimes you can combine those operations to create special effects. Like, what kind of effects? Well, one of my favorite video effects is called the vertigo shot. Oh yeah, I know that one really crazy it does crazy things to your eyes <laughs> what we do is put the camera on a dolly to roll the camera backward and forwards then as we do that we zoom the camera in or out on the subject so it creates an effect where the background appears as if it's growing or shrinking while the subject in this case riley is staying the same size that's super crazy. <laughs> so, we have the vertigo shot, but what other camera shots are we going to use for the... Right on Rock Show! Well, I'll have a camera that zooms in close on Riley jamming out. I'll have a second camera that zooms out wide to show the whole Rye Dog Rock stage. Since this is setting the stage, we'll have a third camera for recording the cameras. And of course, Dave is going to be recording that camera. That's recording the cameras. That's recording the rock show so he can show his mom what he's been up to. Yeah. This is awesome. We have the cameras capturing the light reflecting off the musicians in the show. The cameras will be panning, tilting, zooming, and focusing for all sorts of different looks and you'll be switching those signals from the HDMI cables and broadcasting an awesome rock concert video for all of Riley's fans. Thanks, Hunter. This is gonna rock. Right, go, right.
Go! Go!